<clears throat> okay, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? So, I haven't been doing really any videos lately. It's because I've been riding my motorcycle a ton. I'm really addicted to it. Like, very addicted to it. I knew I probably... I knew I would be, though. But it'll probably slow down for me, and I'll be playing games more often and doing commentaries. But right now, I'm just learning to ride and having fun, and... I wanted to show off some of my gear, so the first video I'm going to show you guys is my helmet. I mean, if there's one thing any rider should have, it's a helmet. Anyone that's on a motorcycle, or even on a bicycle, if you're going to go on the road. I hate cyclists. Just, if you're a cyclist, I hate you. No, I just hate cyclists that are on the road. I'm pretty sure most of us can agree on this. If not, I don't agree with you, but that's okay still love you i just hate cyclists i get in my way when i'm driving my jeep and they're going slower than me i drive a four-cylinder jeep wrangler no one should be slower than me okay that shit is slow anyway so what i got is a bell star rolling sand designs uh helmet carbon fiber as you can see very nice i had to get an extra extra large because i have a massive head no lie. And uh, one thing I did have to get because, oh yeah, the visor block. That block. But when you have that visor on, I mean, you think it's going to be really dark, but you can see through that thing pretty easily. Um, I had to get bigger cheek pads on this thing. Here's the old ones. The old one, the extra, extra large comes with, I don't know if you can see that. 40 millimeter uh, cheek pads. I got 55 millimeter for my cheeks because my cheeks aren't fat, and I'm guessing that's what they expect double X heads to have, double XL heads to have, like huge cheeks. They expect you to be like some fatty, but I'm not a fatty, just have a big head, so normal size cheeks, just huge head. I love this helmet though. It is very soft inside. A lot of people think it's cheap because of the whole bell thing, you know, like you can buy a bell at Walmart if you don't know, but the bells at Walmart are, are cheap because they're meant for bicyclists and just for people that don't have a lot of money. I mean, they try to, they, I think they were the first helmet. No, they are the first full face helmet. So, I mean, they've been around for a while. So they're not, they know what they're doing. Um, I got this bag with it as well. Let me show you this bag. It says Bell. RSD. And it's very soft inside. Like a guitar case, but not really. But yeah, I love this helmet. It has a few vents. Right there, right there. Right there. One, two. So, yep. And then the shield comes off pretty easily, the visor. I mean, uh, this is to lock it into place. This is to make it so you can just straight up open it. And how you undo it is this little tab right here and just pulls right off. And then if you see that line, to put the visor back on, all you do is line it up with that line and push on it. And it'll lock right back in. It's perfect. Just perfect. The only complaint I really have with this helmet is... I mean, it's a little windy. It's windy inside just a little bit, but... I mean, most helmets are windy inside, so... There's the outlets. And the carbon fiber. I love carbon fiber. It is Snell approved 2010. This helmet cost me $600. Yes, I spent a lot of money on it, but I love it. So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment. If you guys want, if you guys have any questions on this helmet or anything else, let me know. I will be happy to oblige. Have a great day.